Oh, hello, folks. You can never do that with any kind of firearm, by the way. I should be fired from my job. But, yep, so you know what? Let's see. Cruising out. Because. Because I actually saw a movie today by myself, unfortunately. Take this off, I guess. Well, that's what we see. Where's the ticket? There we go. Yep. The good thing is, I don't know. I have very mixed feelings about this movie. Again, as you can tell, $7.44. Not a bad price. So the movie, I don't I do miss the movie tickets, though. I'll just give you a piece of paper. I want to go see Borderlands. And I'll be honest. I don't see why everyone's hating on it. Um, first part, check out my trip there. Hello, folks. Welcome back. It's actually kind of dark outside here. I'm the one. You can't see me. I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And I am off to the movies because it's Tuesday. Um, my lady friend had to go to work. She pulled a Tom. She got called into work, and it's still Tuesday. I have nothing else better to do. I'm going to catch a movie tonight. The movie I'm going to catch tonight's Borderlands. I want to see what kind of hot dumpster fire this movie is because, one, I do not trust the critics. Um, you can always tell when I'm going to the movie of my illegal box of candy right here. Because, again, I'm not paying seven bucks for something that costs a buck, buck and a quarter. That's just ridiculousness. Yep, I'll let you know. Bye. Ah, here we are. The world famous CMX movie theater. Let's see. I wonder which movies are going to be coming up soon. Still have plenty of time. <laughs> See next style, that one next week maybe. Just one tonight. Saw that. And I don't know. I haven't been to the movie at night in a while. I guess maybe it's because I'm getting old, or actually because my date doesn't like going. I understand why he doesn't like night movies. I think we went to a few of them. Not necessarily bad. I mean, you get back late. But, um, yep, and here are some previews. He's gonna start heading towards the front looking for stragglers. Sorry, we're the stragglers? Yeah, by the time he gets to the front, the train's gonna be in the station and we're home for it. This is so stupid. Tickets are probably like 12 bucks. The principal of thing, we shouldn't have to pay for train tickets in Poland. This is our country. No, it's not. It was our country. They kicked us out because they thought we were cheap. Can I 
Okay. Time play. And then ooh, it's that supernova Borderlands time. Long ago, our galaxy was ruled by an alien race called the Iridians, whose power and technology were far beyond human time. But the Iridians' greatest secrets were hidden in a vault located on the planet Pandora. The once peaceful world was overrun by corporations, criminals, all be the daughter of Iridia, skipping down the path of destiny. Some of us have to work for a living. You don't have to do this, you know. I mean, I <laughs> so yeah, that was a little bit of the opening of the movie. I'll tell you what. I can't complain about it. Um, starts off, classic video game. Uh, Roland goes to rescue tiny Tina from Atlas because Atlas is her father. They made her for like one of the Iridian projects. I guess you just can't clone an Iridian from blood. It's probably some human blood. I don't think Iridians have blood. Then we go to Lilith, who's a bounty hunter, walks into a bar with a bounty. Badass! Just starts... And she, of course, she has her massive gun, a little bit bigger than mine, and, well, yeah. Don't want to show that too much. YouTube, but actually, a lot smaller. My amazing hunting rifle. The 6.5, I just got new ammo for. The barrel's finally cooled off. Still have to work on the scope a little bit. It's not exactly Elmer Fudd quite yet. Yes. And she has her bounty. She has recruited by Alice to go get her daughter who Roland kidnapped. On the planet Prometheus, I do like the fact that they had space stations and other planets from the video game. Plus, uh, they go to Borderland. They go to Pandora. Yeah, she was raised there. Terrible place. Everyone knows Borderlands is the most terrible place ever. So, yep. And then it just becomes a video game movie. I two major things I liked about it and I, I have one minor quibble I don't mind that it didn't follow the video game exactly although it, it would be of nice would have been nice to see K handsome Jack as the villain more so than the guy from Atlas but I understand that you know Borderlands you kind of know the Atlas lore so that's not necessarily a terrible thing the only thing is when I checked my mail tonight the ants got me alive only on my left foot. So if I start itching uncontrollably, I found out if, as long as I release whatever they inject in me, let it bleed out a little bit, the old-fashioned way goes away much quicker. So I do apologize for that. Yeah, more in Borderlands, though. Um, they do show Borderlands. What I kind of liked is that they didn't... With the trailer parts... It seemed like it all fit together, but it actually didn't, which was good, because I'm like, wait a second, that's different. I like that. So they put it together differently. That was a nice change. It should go to the range again. I haven't been there. I was there for that one, but not for this one. Jeez, I hope I... Yeah, it's empty. So that's good. But yeah, um, then of course they start going, they start hunting for Lil, uh, Lilith goes hunting for Tannis. Tannis played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and, and oh my goodness, her, her boobies got big. Um, Mox was the uh, Moxie was there. I like that. 
like the fact that they had Marcus driving the van. It had the opening sequence, like you saw in the videos, just like the video game. I don't see what people are really complaining about. People said they were kind of wooden and laconic acting. I thought it was good. Claptrap had his funny lines. Like, again, mind you, this movie's been out for like almost a month now. I mean, people in the theater were still laughing. I mean, it wasn't, haha, this sucks. It's like, wow, that actually is kind of funny. And it wasn't at the moments that you thought it would be. So it was good like that. Um, you saw, again, some of the creatures, the skags. Uh, whatever they call them. The racks. Thresher. Thresher was like the big boss, big optional boss towards the end of the game, which I never beat because you had to be level 50, and I was like, I'd be at like level 38 or something like that. Uh, they had the destroyer come out at the very end. I thought it was good. So yeah, they go through everything. They go through Sanctuary, uh, the Caustic Caverns. It kind of followed the video game. Not word for word but as far as locations went they had the doll corporation again they were the dumpster people for everything they had uh the blood eyes they they were good seeing the the psychos there male female and where's my midget i miss my midget so they had all different types of psychos there they just brought it all to brought it all together if you're a video game purist, you're probably going to hate this movie because it deviates from the video game. I was looking forward to a fun summer movie. It delivered. Uh, ending credits, Claptrap did his dance, so that, that wasn't too bad. Again, ending credits ended just like the video games do. In a very blocky performance, Marcus tells his tale. I enjoyed it. Uh, the one critique... One critique I will say is that they casted Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, and what's her face, whoever played Moxie, probably 10 years older than they should have been. Because with Lilith, you could see, like, and yes, Kate Blanchett is an amazingly beautiful woman, but you can tell. She's getting a little up there in age. She has a little, like, laugh lines. That was... No, my, my skin's still smooth, I guess. But yeah, you can tell. Jamie Lee Curtis' face just got old. She, she had, like, like 50-year-old booba showing. I mean, you could tell that the ages really didn't match up to what the character should be. Well, Moxley had so many kids. Yeah. She had the heart tattoo in the right spot, too. And you could see it. So they go to Sanctuary, across the caverns, uh, some other place, went to the village where she grew up. And it looked like it would in the video games. It looked like the dystopian planet. I did like the fact Promethea was a little bit more city-like. Had the neon. Yep, I don't remember a lot of neon on Pandora. It's kind of bland, and that's the way it should be. So, I think they were pretty true to what the video game showed. So again, uh, everyone thinks, uh, to get more to the point, everyone thinks that Tina, because she was genetically engineered, is of Iridian descent. No, she's not. It's actually Loth, Loth was. She becomes a Firehawk when they activate it. And it's the movie's just finding that. Going from point A, point B... All this in between made sense. So, yeah. I thought it was a good, fun movie. Again, if you're a pure video gamist, nerd, geek, fit into any one of those categories, yeah, you're not going to like it. Because it deviated a lot from the video games. But if you just wanted to go see a fun summer movie, they, they did curse a lot. Which again, the video game, much more expletives in the video game. Uh, the opening was fairly graphic for a PG-13. 
you, when you see skulls and people setting other people on fire and kind of a, a meat processing factory. Yeah. Um, not overly graphic. Could it have been better with an R rating where they could have done more? Probably. But that might have taken it over the top and lost people. So they made it for that demographic. Because, again, I heard there was the one parent that complained about Deadpool, but she took her 13-year-old to, to see Deadpool. I wouldn't take a 15-year-old to see Deadpool. What are you talking about? But I knew exactly what to expect. Again, Borderlands, I knew exactly what to expect. It met all my expectations. And people are saying, oh, this is a terrible movie. No. I personally think the worst movie I've seen so far has been Civil War. It just... Civil War promised this much, and you got this. Borderlands started off here, like, jumped up here, and, like... Like the all like people said, Oh, this is a terrible movie, you go see it, you're like, that's nowhere nearly as bad. It delivered what it promised it would. That's the big thing, and it made sense. It went through uh, the character development, all the other stuff. Again, it kind of fast forwarded about how Loth was able to transport people. It didn't happen until she touched that iridium. She found it. And again, if you know video game lore, the sirens you can't transport, need that iridium. So yeah, I don't see what people say bad about this movie. If I had to see it, like on a movie night for like 10 or $12, I could justify paying that on a regular movie night. The 744 I paid, you know what folks? This is also that cheeseburger of a movie. That was Borderlands. You knew what you were getting? As far as I'm concerned, it delivered. Uh, my next movie review is going to be Trap. Again, that was pretty cool. And then, so I'll get that probably tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll also get my predictions for Bash in Berlin for WWE. But again, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And Borderlands was fun. Do the psycho pose. Yep, there we go. There's a psycho pose for you. So yeah, I thought it was good.